हेलो ऑल आई एम देवश्री गार्गिल फ्रॉम बी एम एस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ चंगू काना ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज ऑटोनॉमस हियर आई वुड लाइक टू प्रेजेंट अ टॉपिक ऑन एच आर पॉलिसीज एंड रिटेंशन स्ट्रैटेजी सो लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एच आर पॉलिसीज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स पॉलिसीज आर द फॉर्मल रूल्स एंड गाइडलाइंस दैट बिजनेस इज पुट इन प्लेस टू हायर ट्रेन assess and as well as uh, giving the rewards to the members of the workplace so this policy is uh, when organized and disseminated uh, in an easily used form uh, can serve to anticipate many misunderstandings between the employees and employers about their rights and obligations let us understand what is the meaning of hr policy human resource policies are generalized guidelines on the employee management adopted by the consensus in an organization to regulate the behavior of the employees and as well as the managers or and the supervisors into the organization let us understand what is the definition of human resource policy human resource policy provides guidelines for the wide variety of employment relationships into the organizations these guidelines identify the organization's intention in the recruitment selection promotion development compensation motivation and uh, the definitely the leading as well as the directing people into the organization in the working organization so leadership is the most important part showing the direction is the most important part so human resource policy act as a guidelines as well as the lead the people into the organization and for every function into the organization there is a human resource policy so what are the various uh, functions of the human resource management recruitment and selection wages and salary administration health and safety benefits uh, industrial relations compensation management so for every function into the uh, organization of the human resource uh, this human resource management there is human resource policy moving to the next part of the presentation let us understand what are the objectives of the hr policies into the organization so first objective of the hr policy into the organization is nothing but the achievement of goals of the organization every organization whether it is uh, profitable organization whether it is non profit making organization it is necessary to achieve the goal or objective of the organization so the first and foremost objective of the every human pol resource policy is nothing but achievement of goal second is human resource policies are formed and formulated to give the guidance to the employees into the organization so definitely the employees will come to know what are the rules and regulations what are the norms and procedures of the organization and accordingly the employees can start working as per the rules and regulations of the organizations third is to prevent misunderstanding the most important part into the organization is to maintain the healthy employee employer employer relationships so definitely this will prevent the misunderstanding related to any kind of function into the organization if proper human resource policies are formulated and implemented into the organization then definitely there will be development of equity and as well as justice into the organization this provides job security uh, to the uh, people into the organization so there will be more and more employee satisfaction into the organization if proper healthy human resource policies are formulated implemented designed into the human resource organization then this will boost up the confidence of the employees into the organization let us understand how they are formulated it is necessary to understand what is the need of the human resource uh, human resources into the organization according to the information can be gathered and collected uh, after that there is the examination of uh, policies or alternatives which are formulated then it is necessary to take the approval from the top level management into the organization because they are the people who are responsible for designing and implementing the various policies into the organization then communication of that policy to the human resources into the organization and proper evaluation of that policy has to be done into the organization because of which this uh, the uh, there will not be any kind of misunderstandings among the human resources into the organization moving to the next part let us understand what are the areas of hr policies number 1 employment giving the employment to the employee to the people or uh, those who are looking for the job into the organization so it is necessary for the organization first of all to decide what are the rules and regulations for the 
for giving the employment to the people into the organization. So first policy which is to be designed for the human resources is nothing but the employment policy. Second, second is training and development. Training is nothing but improving the skills and the knowledge of the people which will leads, uh, which will definitely motivates the employees into the organization and overall development of the human resources is only possible when the training programs are conducted which, which will boost up the knowledge, the uh, boost up the employees, which will improve the knowledge, skills of the employees into the organization. Another important area for the human resource policy is nothing but the transfer and the promotion. Transfer, shifting or the moving of the employee from one place to another without change into the compensation. That is what transfer and second is promotion. Promotion is upgradation of the employees into the organization with the change into the or uh, with the high giving higher level packages to the employees into the organization. So that is why there has to be the another HR policy for the transfer and the promotion. Compensation. Compensation is nothing but the remuneration, the payment, the salary, the wages which are given to the employees, to the white collar employees as well as to the blue collar employees. Compensation is the most important part. Every human being is working for getting the money into the organization. So that is why the satisfaction, the employee satisfaction is uh, there into the organization with, uh, if the good, level, good amount of compensation, remuneration, salary is given to the employees into the organization. So there has to be the proper compensation policy which has to be implemented into the organization. Good working conditions, healthy culture, healthy climate, uh, good colleague uh, uh, relationships, healthy employer and employer relationships definitely is the another area for the HR policies. Employee services and welfare and last is industrial relations. So, uh, various employee services, welfare facilities such as various insurance schemes, then uh, disabled, benefit, disabled benefits has to be provided to the employees into the organization because of which uh, the employees will get motivated and they will work hard and they will be retained into the organization. So, these are the various areas for the HR policies. Now, let us understand what are the types of the areas of the HR policies, originated policies, appealed policies, imposed policies general policies, specific policies, written policies, implied policies, centralized policies, functional policies. Let us understand what are the characteristics of the sound HR policies, sound HR policies, how they should be. Definitely they should contribute towards the goal and objective of the organization. They should be clear, definite, understandable, easily understandable policies should be there into the organization. They should be in properly written form because of which the employees will come to know what are the rules and regulations of the organization. The policy should be stable, flexible and as well as they should cover all the internal aspects, all the rules and regulations. In fact, each and every function of the organization. Then after that, they, every human resource policy should be reviewed, revised and updated time to time. There has to be participation uh, from the top level management, middle level management and the lower level management and as well as HR policy should be fair and equitable. Next is retention strategy. Moving to the next part of the presentation, let us understand what is retention strategy. Retention is nothing but maintaining the people into the uh, organization to achieve the goal or objective of the organization. So what is that? Aim to ensure attitude survey and identification and as well as the problems, uh, identification of the problems. Problems arise because of competitive, inequitable or unfair payment system. Uh, so, these are the problems, reviewing the pay structure, job evaluation that has to be studied, understanding the link of the pay schemes and adopting the various uh, payment strategies, adopting the payments by the result systems. Next is job design. It is necessary to understand the performance of the employees into the organization. Accordingly, the payment has to be given. Learning and development, what kind of training and development procedures and policies are there career development and as well as the commitment of the people towards the organization. So what are the various strategies for em for enhancing employee work performance? Number one is teamwork. There has to be a tight teamwork achieving the organizational goal, highest performance output. These are the various tips how to improve the employee performance in the company. Encouraging communication, uh, positive work environment, providing effective training, clear rules and regulations. 
सो थैंक यू दिस ब्रिंग्स मी टू द एंड ऑफ माई प्रेजेंटेशन थैंक यू सो मच